Base being structured maps, I would anticipate North Epsion's confidence only really to grow. So yeah, expecting a close duel that a 15 round might be on the cards like it was between them in the group stage. As band phase comes to a conclusion. So North Epsion starting off here on the defense, so offering a good platform to kick off this half, especially with the likes of the Azami and Solace being available here on map two. Yeah, and as I was saying, obviously for for North Epsion defense clubhouse, this is this is where you can start well. Um, we've seen clubhouse seven times in this region though, guys, and this is where it gets a little bit funky. But it, it's only a fifty four percent defensive win rate, probably one of the lower win rates defensively for clubhouse in, in many other regions. But it wouldn't be impossible to suggest that scars can do well on the attack and then vice versa for North Epsion. So, see what happens though as we head into this one. Second map of this best of five grand final, scars up one nothing, taking. The map pick away of Northeption on Oregon. They now head to their own map pick of Clubhouse. And they are in good form heading into it as well. To close out Oregon, they won some good attacking rounds. They'll look to replicate that here as well to attack on Clubhouse. And we'll begin down the bottom. Church and Arsenal to begin with. Northeption bringing uh, a bit of a mixed bag here in terms of an operator lineup. They've got some good roam potential. With the Mozzie with the Oric and on site. You've got some good hold as well. Boyo, Smoke and Clay. I like this lineup here for Northeption. Keeps them quite versatile. Yeah, this setup for Scars, will, I think, will be quite powerful in a hatch drop situation here for the attack. So even with that Ying perhaps not in play, you can lean to the likes of the Capital and the Blitz to create quite a bit of space and crowd control the defense a little bit on that push. The question will be how much do they want to contest against the Rome here. He's in play, so Garage and Lounge occupied. Sharip as well, top or bedroom side. It may be a world in which Scars can look to ignore this for that hatch drop execute through Kitchen, but... You then run the risk of the retake, so it's all about balancing that out. Blitz does suggest the Scars want to go for this push potentially through dirt, the way they're setting up at the moment. Bjorn is there with Tayo, and they've got the diffuser around that area too. Can they push Faber off of this position though, sitting deep inside of dirt with that shield? If they can clear out this position, it would be pretty handy, all things considered. They don't even have to really find a kill here, but at least just get a bit of dirt control. That's what they've been able to do. They have a throwing out a gas paper early, so that brings him down to two, just remaining. Bit of damage, not ideal, and you lose that position. Not a bad little win in the mini game for Scars. Yeah, pretty good start. Still 5v5 though, ultimately, in a minute 30. Control, blue conceded. So Brett can post in this position. 417 in hand. They're looking to lean into the DMAR meta. Washoi as well has oil pit control. So it could be a double prong push here through blue with perhaps then kit and dirt. So it's a double stack dirt, double stack blue. Fifth player could lurk main stairs, but Sharif's monitoring that. And in fact, the exit outside of dirt, but pressure elsewhere. Scars are replying. The Vulcan Canis are just stalling out that attack momentarily, and Sayo Chan capitalizes. Yeah, I don't know. Rex going in a little bit early there and cost himself an opportunity to pinch from that blue stairs position. So now they're, they're a little bit one sided with this attack, but we're sure he finds a kill anyway. Where's he going? To Sayo Chan. He just keeps pushing through. Hello? Into the smoke, he dies eventually to Fairbar. He's got no more gas babes remaining. A bit of a mix-up here from both teams as Rashoi finds his second kill. This one is a Sharif. Nina gets caught over towards Church, and this one's over. Rashoi's found three in the round, I think. Two and one. Not bad, and Fishlight will finish it off. That was a very messy Church and also, but nevertheless, it's the attacking round win to start for Scars. Yeah, messy would be a bit of an understatement. I think the Blitz win condition there completely crumbled for Scars. Blitz running and maybe getting disorientated in the smoke. At this kind of level, you should be using the compass as an absolute minimum to guide you through the smoke. You can still see it. That was a little bit peculiar. But Scars, I think their attack pattern there did catch North Epsion a little bit off guard, especially with that early pressure from Blue. They didn't really know how to respond. And once those Vulcan canisters were popped and the flames extinguished, they were under a lot of pressure over towards Dami is on AK. And once those positions were lost, retaking was very, very difficult. Players on the roam as well couldn't really activate and find a whole lot. So you had like that Oryx, for example, just on an island for pretty much the entire round. So the read there from Scars was, was quite good, and I think the overall play call was the right one. The execute left a little bit to be desired, but it was good enough to get the round. 
Good start though, and immediately Scars get one attacking round win here on Clubhouse, which is a really good sign to suggest that they can take their own map pick, especially on the fact that it was a church and arsenal. It's not as if North Eption tried to do something funky to begin with. Now they head over to Jim Bedroom here in the second round. Scars can have all of the confidence in the world to feel like they could really take this map quite comfort uh, comfortably and maybe quite quickly too. Deception will have to bite back. All of the expectation is on them to do well here in this first half. And that was a bit of a sloppy start. Gave up dirt too easily, lost the position of blue, and then eventually main. In fairness though, that's up to Scars. Scars pushing three different angles, three different positions of attack. So really put the pressure onto North Epson and they crumbled. See how things shape up though. On going to be opened up. Might be on, on that thermite. So that's one more exothermic charge. It's rid of Jamma. And it's a good start already in this round as well for Scars. Getting kind of what they want here early. They can go and open up Jacuzzi. Bit of a top red stairs hole by Fever. But if there's not going to be much pressure from Kennels, then I don't think it's going to really do much in ways of, uh, an, of an extension. And it's just now a bit of pressure though from Fishlight. Opens up that sight line and the breach. A oh, good impact trip though, so it won't actually be an entry point. I'll play for Fever. Once you hit the first impact trick, then trying to get the wall after that is actually quite difficult. So both summons may need to be used. Well, I'll show you. Down logistics. Uh, this defense is so spread at the moment. Nina might get a read. King goes out. But is there a player to actually respond? And the answer, well, I don't think there is. Favor caught out. And this position for Washoi is so powerful. The retake up main stairs, we know that it is almost it's, impossible. So Scars, just, they just need to get in and play it. They have, well, they have. They, they're on, they've got sight. They're the ones that have got control all of sight now. Sharif is trying to make his way back in through Con, putting pressure onto logistics, but it's like they've just swapped sides. It's like Scars are in all of the defenders' positions, and North Epson are attacking. And they are now, of course, on the retake. A bamboozling of a, a swapping of positions has really caught North Epson off guard here, and they're going to get punished for it. Far too off site. You made the comment that they were spread out. Well, they were spread out off site quite largely, and a pretty much bigger ignoral of that sort of cash and red stairs hold means that North Epson just don't have the people on site, and it's a main stairs free tank for Nina, where he's got to clear out both Jacuzzi and logistics. You can't. It's impossible. Scars have got a perfect start here on Clubhouse. The moment I saw Washo drop down in the bottom corner of the screen, that was when the. <laughs> The red flag started waving, the, the warning light started popping off. I was like, how the hell has that been allowed to happen? And I think part of that was, yeah, that such a spread defense. Don't know why Echo's playing out of strip. There is that potential run out opportunity for Jacuzzi, but that feels like a low percentage play in what should be an even matchup. Defender Roam is elsewhere as well, not having immediate impact. And you need to be super conscious. If you're going to roam on that site, you need to sure hope as hell that the rest of the team's doing a good job on site because if you lose it, retaking up main, once the cross is established, good luck. You'd be lucky to get one pick. You're immediately going to be traded. So, some peculiar decisions there from North Epson and maybe not respecting their opponents as much as they should because sure, mm. maybe against some of their other opponents in some of those other matches where they already had a bit of a lead and a bit of momentum and the other team was tilted, might be able to get away with that. You're now losing in the, your first series in this playoffs bracket, it's time to start playing like that. Five seconds to go. Well, the damage has already been done now as well. Scars have already got two attacking rounds here on a clubhouse attack, so they've already got kind of what you would necessarily want in a first half. They've got four, three rounds. Four rounds to see how much damage can they really do in this first half? How far behind can they put an affection? And so now there's absolutely no pressure on Scars for the rest of this half of North Epson. Every round they have to fight tooth and nail. They have to get a result for the next four rounds in a row to just at least break even at this point. Nina through C, correct? Watching that window. It just holds this sort of lounge position, but it is going to be basement once again. Obviously, they haven't won a site yet, so back to church and Arsenal. And for Scars, it's going to be the Blitz, which Attackers worked pretty well bomb. over towards Dirt until it came time to push onto Sight. That's a good Twitch drone, taking out the Vulcan Canister. So, getting everything that they that they want, everything that they need right now, Scars. Everything's going their way. And they have a read as well in this Oryx and may look to in this position. Sharif does take a chip of damage down below through stock as well, wrecking up position to try and get some control. Oh, it doesn't look like Sharip's under immediate pressure and he'll be able to make his way back over towards Con, so... 
any potential for a crisis now averted. Nina actually retaking this position. And again, that same drone is in position, so... Unless it's been spotted, I assume, yeah, there's still info. So yellow ping. Oh yeah, Nina dead. Gives Scars the advantage once again. Faber feels that pressure once again in dirt. But this time, throwing out the gas waves a lot earlier. One left. So utilizing them earlier in the round to keep control of dirt rather than saving them for the late round. That's the final one. And they are actually well and truly expended on utility for the side of the option. Only one nitrous cell available for you, kids. That's it. They haven't really got a whole lot else to, to sort of ward off this attack from Scars who have bunch of smokes, a bunch, bunch of flashes, and a bunch of kills as well. Well, Sharip and Nina probably feel the obligation that they've got to be the ones to win these early contact fights. They're losing them all. One and six now between them, because to start here on Clubhouse, it's it's a disaster for North Eption. And Taiyu is slowly continuing to get dirt control and slowly pushing Faber out of that position. Now Saiyan loses his life as well. They've got blue control, essentially. Tayo eventually loses his life to Faber. There's one more there. Now he's the solo on the smoke with no gas canisters and a one versus four with no time. Scars are up three nothing on their map pick of Clubhouse. Well, this uh, was not what I expected. I thought we'd see a confident Scars here off the back of the first map and the fact that their Clubhouse is strong, but a 3-0 start, especially on attack, so winning the full rotation from North Eption is very, very impressive. And North Eption, I think, are trying to play the playstyle that saw success in the other two games in the playoffs bracket where they could be a little bit more unpredictable and the Rome game more often than not was strong for them. But Scars, to their credit, are well and truly locking them down. Some really good drones off site, some great replace drones, especially, you know, we saw that one CCTV. Nina, cut down. Oryx not having an impact on Rome. They're just a really good solid fundamental siege at the moment from Scars. They're playing high percentage siege and they're being rewarded for it. it we're not seeing Almost what we saw in Oregon, right, where at times we were seeing these pretty extravagant entries and a lot of risks being taken from both teams. Scars are being rewarded, and they're playing much more risk-free than that first one. Uh, and I've got to say, probably the most disappointing North Eption has looked the entire league thus far. Uh, yep. if, if you really think about it, I mean, even their loss to Scars in the group stage back on Clubhouse, which is um, the very beginning, I think it was, well, you know, basically a couple of weeks ago, that was an 8-7, guys. North Eption put up, you know, pretty standard four defensive rounds in, in their defensive half. They got their two attack rounds, set it to OT, and even got an attacking round in said OT. So, I mean, they, they actually had a pretty good game. It was back and forth and ultimately decided just by one last round. But, and then since then, you know, you take down Fab and obviously probably their most disappointing was their loss to, to Crest, which that also came on Clubhouse. So there's something with North Eption on Clubhouse. Definitely keeping that in mind, they did not play Crest in the semi-final on Club. They moved away from that. So the fact that this map gets to make it through, Scars pick it, they've done well on it, and North Eption have not done well on it, really does compound the fact that North Eption needed to win Oregon because they're probably now going to be 2-0 down in the grand final. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's the exact same bands as the last time these two teams played on this map, and Scars actually only got two attacking round wins in regulation. So with three rounds in, they've already improved upon that number. So it does not bode well at all at the moment here for North Eption. Minigame over towards Jacuzzi in favour actually wins that out. So I think at this point, North Eption will probably take any small win that they can get. No, not the worst of starts, and Washo now will be under the pump to pressure this position from the balcony. Because if you don't get Jacuzzi wall open, it's going to be very difficult for Scars. Again, they relied heavily on that rat play from Washoi down through Logi and some of the pressure around the map and the extensive room. Uh, North Eption aren't overplaying their hand this time, so it's going to be tricky. They can still Scars. open it though. They can still open it. You've still got an EMP grenade, which has just been thrown out, and an exothermic. And I don't know. Now I don't know if they can actually open it, but Washoi finds a kill anyway to Sharif, who has really struggled in this game. Nina did get the trade. We're sure, though, only down and on the balcony. A little bit precarious to just want to go out and, and get that full confirmed. Receive enough time as well to probably get him back into this game. Now, if you can't get Jacuzzi open, you've got to keep that pressure up on the balcony. And I think eventually you've got to go main stairs. Now, they've done the pressure on the balcony. Tayo finds a kill top red as well, looking over towards Cash. Fish like, going to open up that CC window. Can keep getting a little bit of that balcony control. We're sure he's back up. Tell you what, they don't have Jacuzzi, but they've got everything else. Scars. 
have ripped apart this red and cash position. They got con opened up. They got balcony pressure. And now you've got wreck pushing up main stairs. They've got exactly what they need for plan B. So plan A didn't work, but you've got plan B. 30 seconds, though. Yes, Canis is to stall it out. Nina to position main stairs. If they can lock down top red, it does make that entry a little bit more challenging from Logi, from Con. So it's important that Rec wins this fight. I still think it's winnable, even if he doesn't. He wasn't expecting Nina to be sitting in that corner, but that's at least main stairs control. Sayachan loses his life. Pion forever now inside a bathroom. Nine seconds. Just has to play really for time here. Tricky positions have to be gained. That's a wonderful angle from Fishlike, and he'll get the second. Peeking out from Con. Clears out bathroom and then clears out the player outside logistics. What a round from Scars. That is talk. That's a round that should never be winning. They should never be winning that round. Jacuzzi completely locked out. Main stairs control for North Eption, and they've lost it. Good balcony pressure from Scars. They won out the fight over towards Cash. They got con control. Really, really well done. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at a team and trying to justify how, or gauge how well they're playing. Sometimes you can fall into the trap of saying that a team is fluking rounds or whatever, but when something doesn't go your way, something fundamentally like Jacuzzi Wall not getting over, that, that really does take away a lot of win conditions for the attack. And you look at good teams to quickly adapt and, and overcome those difficulties and look to exploit other parts of the map, other parts of the objective. And almost immediately, we saw Scars already getting control over its cash side, they had control over its red despite their like being a five mag stack to protect that shield. Didn't really matter, they still got that relatively carefree. And then, yeah, some really good uh, crosses and isolate the final two players, final push. So that was just really well done by Scars. And it's quite surprising that they're making North Eption look truly second grade in this matchup. There's a big mm. discrepancy between these two at the moment. Yeah, it certainly is. And we were sort of parading the fact that this was going to be a close contest that, you know, this region has, has been, uh, you know, the modesty of, of competition. And right now, it, yeah, it has been quite one-sided. Bar a couple of rounds on Oregon, which obviously North Eption did do well in. It, it has been very much the, the case of Scars have been the better team, rightfully. And especially here on Clubhouse, this has just been an absolute onslaught. It is their map pick. The expectations are them they have them to win it out. And on top of the fact that North Epson have struggled on Clubhouse, which I'll tell you what, the thing that we kind of have to remember Ooh. in the back of our minds is they're going to the major. You've got to do well on a map like this. As they look to open up panels now. Yes. Exothermic will be successful. Breach opened up. <laughs> well, double smoke deployed. I thought maybe that would be with a glass in play, but it's... Uh... Fuse instead had a combo that to of course counter the bandit juggle on the wall. Not that it really came through at all for favor. He'll probably look to play con instead now. And they could start the scars. North option don't get baited too heavily though by those smokes. There could have been a potential rush through the breach, but not the case. Sharip needs to step up. That's his first kill. In four rounds, we would expect bigger numbers from him. He, he, he can be that player. He can be that impact frag. Oh, he just freebie. hasn't been inside of the server. Favor, what I've got. And maybe another freebie there, but Sharip unable to find the kill. And he's getting very aggressive here. Very aggressive. At that point, you push into that position. You know what, guys? You're actually prone to being spotted by three areas. Logistics, main stairs, and Jacuzzi. So it's just an awful position to be in there. Sharip has no reason to push into that position. Rookie, really rookie error. Minutes ago, then Nina needs to step up and find the fuse. Well, almost did, but unfortunately, we'll now need to fall back over to its top red. Yukis can hold the entry point from Com, but he'll feel the threat from any garage lurk. 25 seconds, and fish like will come across. Final exothermic in hand. There's no impact in the hands of Yukis, so this wall will be open up for free. Nina now getting aggressive. Shut down. Why? He has the entry, but he cannot deny this plan. So, if you're actually noticing, a lot of their deaths have, have been kind of like North Eption being lulled in exactly. by a singing siren mermaid because that's like, I don't know, they just get attracted to the bright lights. They literally just walk in. They're like, all right, let's take the fight. And it's just like every time you're losing it. You know, you're, you're, you're the defender on Clubhouse. So yes, you can play key positions. You can force the attackers into you, force them to clear you. You know, and I go back to Sharif you know, pushing in from, from bedroom towards logistics, you push in through that doorway. Logistics can kill you. 
main stairs can kill you and in the end jacuzzi which did kill him can kill you so you can't clear all three of those angles at once and all he's focused on is the player in logistics he just gets tunnel vision and it's those little mistakes that are costing adaption here on clubhouse i mean Attack this is the worst I've seen them all season long. And I think a lot of that is credit to Scars. They're putting pressure in the early round, and then North Epson, I think, are sort of taking a moment to go, all right, how do we win this round? And as defense, sometimes, and more often than not, it, it is the right call to make a play, even if it's low percentage, because you're better off going for a play in the mid round rather than leaving it down to an, an awkward execute at the end where you're unlikely to win it out. But I do agree, the way in which they are going about it has not looked particularly confident and again scars have had great information um even with solace available i haven't seen north option be particularly effective in cutting down at that economy i will say i haven't been monitoring it particularly closely but just from a couple of isolated incidents that we have seen scars have a really good read on where north option are playing especially roamers and a 6-0 half looks very very likely which i completely would not have predicted Yeah, very disappointing at the moment from North Epson. Okay, Oregon, 7-5, kind of close game. And rightfully, Scars played well. Thought North Epson weren't necessarily all that bad either. So it's just one of those games where Scars kind of edged them out. That's fine. Okay, took their map pick. But this is just... This is honestly just not competitive. We're on the defensive clubhouse and you've given up five attacking rounds and you've looked pretty bad along the way. Like, we're not we're not really talking about rounds, guys, where it's kind of like 1v1 clutches, flip the coin. Like, Scars have just completely decimated. They're winning early round contact fights. They're, they're playing better in terms of positional. Their, their game game plan has been better as well, clearing out positions like Dirt. The Deception are just getting bullied. They're not getting anything that they want. And now they're kind of just sitting on site. Like, okay, well, well now we, we kind of have to sit on site. Because you're just not winning any kind of roam game. You're not winning any of the Lurks battles. You're not winning any of the contact fights. I mean, Sharip over towards main stairs. I, I, he's one and five. He's going to win this. He has to win this. Yeah, okay. Freebie. And and those are probably the moments there where if you're wreck, if you're scars, at that point, you start to think the option of kind of not giving up in a sense, but not looking to make those kind of plays. So credit to Sharip there. But just backing himself in to push up main stairs, see if he can find a kill. He does. We've got one now. Five versus four. Church Arsenal defense. Get on site. Sit there and wait for them to push into you. It's a, it's a push through dirt. Yes, it's a blitz. Yes, it's annoying. But you got the gas waves. You've got keeper barriers. You've got utility. You can deal with it. Surely. Oh, what? You imagine. Oh my. oh, my God. I thought Washo was about to win that fight. Now the blitz comes alive. North Epsom have been go. struggling to deal with this push, but finally able to counter and to be fair, again, Scar's, you know, pushing through blue. If Wushoi gets that second kill, suddenly it opens up the potential for that dirt push to actually be somewhat successful. So you've got, again, this sort of plan B that's gone into play there for Scar's, where it's like, okay, we've got a double dirt push through the Blitz Shield. It's going to be difficult. They've got nades. They've got keeper barriers. They've got gas babes. Like, that should never work. But then suddenly, here comes Gung Ho, Mr. Running Around Blue, finds a kill or two and can open it up. But... You know, credit, North Epson. They brought a better lineup to deal with that dirt bush, to deal with that blitz. They held strong. Wreck went for a good counter punch over towards the main stairs. Very successful. That was a better round. Okay? It wasn't necessarily their best round that we've seen all season long, but much, much better. They looked like they actually wanted to win that round and that they wanted to counter scars that round, and they did it. Now, though, the problem is half is over. They've just woken up in the last round of the half. Now you've got to attack into a scars defense, and straight away, you're just going to go church arsenal. It's almost like what we saw in the first map where it felt like North Epsom were a little bit sleepy in the first couple of rounds. Um, this time though to an extreme and the same excuse doesn't apply. Sometimes in the first map of the BO5 series, um, it can take a little while as a team to sort of get into the rhythm of things. You're into the second map now, that excuse doesn't hold up, especially if you want to crown the best team in the region. So it has been disappointing from North Epsom. They have a cushion though, it's uh, not uh, particularly plush. So. No room for error. See how Scars approach it though. I assume it's going to be quite different to what we saw from North Epson. In the sense that they're not going to go for these low percentage rap plays that North Epson are seemingly clinging on to at the beginning of their effort. It is a double stack of dirt though. So a good counter towards these Blood drones and Yuki's gives up. Right call. Attack with the drop the bomb diffuser. Get through that. 
A lurk through blue for Fava. Pretty successful so far. Rack, though, coming in from pit side. Never very much holding this angle. And he goes for the swing. Very early fight, and it's Rack that wins. Don't necessarily hate that, though, from Fava. It's an early push. You've got Nina dropping down into Moto. Like, it's a very early attack here from North Epson. They're looking to just go straight to site. Anything that's basically given to them, Matt, he is just basically waltzing through church here. Has a ping out onto Wreck. He's going to, I mean, like, that's really just trying to take too much. Strange attacking around here from North Epson, and yet, honestly, in some way, close to finding some success. I don't think Scars were ready for this kind of round. No, and it's not over yet. I would have liked to have seen Nina just try to lurk a little bit more. They didn't have Diffuser. He could have sat there, waited hard, lacrosse, especially for the retake from Armory, but can't take that option back. Sayachan now blue control. Are you going to be under the pump? Has a deployable shield though through AK. I'm not entirely sure if Northeption will be able to clear that, so it could be still a very, very tricky push here, and I think Church will probably be where they need to end up, just like locking it down. No more gas babes available. Pion does still have a nitro cell, and especially if it's going to be a blue push, that could be so strong. Head jab just gives Tayu a little bit of a concussion, but he's okay. 50 seconds left. Sharif. Just like, though, with a really good angle. Oh, the smoke. I thought maybe there was a bit of a chance there for Tayu to get the kill before the smoke did plume, but in the end, it does eventually make its way up. 35 seconds remaining. What? Hello? You know, there's a player prone there. In fact, it's a team kill. Sharif on the side chain. Yukis does get the kill onto Tayo, who did the majority of the damage. Anyway, nice sweep from Sharif. That's much better with the DMR. Still winnable, though, for Fishlike. Diffuse it down again. No, oh! there is headshots. Perfect. Oh, Fishlike. Like a slippery salmon through church. He finds the double kill, and Scars got match point. Oh, with the UMP, no less. So, very impressive effort there. North Option actually finally started to look a little bit sharp. They looked a little bit creative in that round, in a good way. They just limited tested a little bit too much, I think, through Church. Nina punished. Again, snappy trades late round as well, but not quite enough to take down Fish like. You keep in mind, 7 and 1. I didn't know he was stacking up those kinds of numbers, so credit to him. Scars now. Five half points. They win this, they find themselves on serious point. What is it? Shall I after this? Is it? No. Yes, it is. Yes. I mean, that was the ma the map as well. As I was saying in the map veto process, that we haven't seen from North Epson in the Japan League so far this year, and it's been one of the most played maps in this region as well. So it's not as if it's like going to be this some kept secret. To be fair to North Epson, it was the deciding map in both the quarterfinal and the semifinal, so they were prepared to play it in those two series. Evidently, they did not get there as they 2 0 their opponents both times. But at the very least, I guess you could say they were prepared to play it and should feel confident, hence why they've picked it. Obviously, the Scars, I know that they did lose to Crest in the group stage on Chalet. So, could be vulnerable there. Didn't play it in the quarterfinals or the semifinals either. So, there is an opportunity that North Epsom might be able to bring it back on Chalet. Who knows? And right after that, another map pick for Scars anyway. <sighs> yeah. And it's almost at the point where you sort of disregard the map to go for it anyway. How did North Epson respond for a potential 1-7 loss in a series mm. that should be close? Uh, that would be very concerning if I was in the North Epson camp. And it's going to be a real test of their mental capacity, their endurance as well, because they'll need to push all five maps if they want to win it. So, asking a lot here from North Epson, and we'll have to wait and see. Main breach open though, so a decent start for the attack. And we'll now see Favor rotate around on that Thermite. Could maybe see another comp push. We could see that from Scars. Being able to attack that corner, especially once you've cleared top red and cash is a good idea. Can work out well. Um, based on where these guys are playing, I wouldn't be too surprised before that. Washoi, though, is lurking. Bot main stairs. North Epson just need to be very, very careful and make sure that flank is watched. Oh, spots the drone, but there was two players top main that could have just swung him. They don't get the time to do that. I'm sure he can fall back. Got the drone. Five drones now destroyed, but only a minute ten left anyway, so... 
flip shot. That's going to be too unhappy. Nice angle found from Nina. He's the star of the show yesterday, but has been very much on the back burner today. I is still holding red stairs. Can watch breach. Can watch doorway. Double breach. He's got to watch, actually. The breach into cash and obviously kennels. Yon should have a decent angle to watch this. He's got to still be careful about garage. So right now, Scars are in a position where they've all kind of got to watch multiple angles. Well, and, and Rek can plant an eye from below. If he's not dealt with the Solas and Tayu isn't dealt with top red, North Option cannot plant. There's still two big win conditions here for the defense. Ijan just very much predicting that there's going to be that flank from main stairs. Oshoi wants to go for it. It's Pion that finds the kill onto Yuki. At what point, though, if you are Saiyajan, do you have to just get up and go and help and move? They're ever trying to get the plant down, and your ace is sitting in corner watching for that main stairs push. He lost it anyway. The ace lost it. So it was still Wushoi that one out. Now you've got Wushoi coming in from behind in logistics. Nin has to watch it. And he does really well to cover. Fever can get the plant down. No, he got denied. No. He has to stick it. He cannot get off of it at all. It can easily be denied. Pushed up was Nina from yep. below its wreck. He set it from the start, cars, and it comes to fruition from below. The Solus is the big difference maker. It's a 7 1 result in Clubhouse. Grand final point awaits for Scars. They go up 2 0 in the series. And I tell you what, that plant actually could have been stuck. The impact there from down below didn't quite find the kill. But nonetheless, Rex still able to deny on the re-attempt. We identified those win conditions for the defense. And Scars throughout this series had so many. North Eption struggling to find them themselves. And finding it difficult to deny 